Do you want to know how to date in your 50s? Do you want to find that perfect partner that you deserve? Then stay tuned because this is the Hobbyist Guide to Dating. For whatever reason, you found yourself single and in your 50s. Your female friends are all happily married and boasting about Dickie's new job and that divine little cottage in the Cotswolds that they've just purchased. The dinner invitations have all dried up and the nice single men that you once knew are now a bunch of balding boars who can't miss an episode of Homes Under the Hammer and love to moan about their latest intestinal issue. But you're not quite ready for the life of slippers and knitting just yet, are you? You want to meet someone that excites you. So now you're stuck, trawling through the dating sites, trying to find a connection. Well, don't panic, because I'm Sharon Mason, experienced data, and I'm here to help you. These are my top 10 tips for how to date in your 50s. Number one, throw out your checklist. What I hear most often from single men is that women are too picky. They want someone who's rich, earning a six-figure salary, who drives a Maserati, is six foot two, has blonde hair and blue eyes, and likes antiquing at the weekends. But you don't need all that stuff. You just need someone who gets you and is on the same wavelength. Maybe you want someone with a sense of humor who loves the countryside and weekends away. Just stick to the basics and get rid of that long checklist. That Louis XVI table isn't going to keep you warm at night. Number two, be yourself. It may seem obvious, but I see too many people trying to be someone that they're not to impress a member of the opposite sex. You don't need to be someone you're not, or pretend to like football if you hate it, or dumb down if you're a woman. You want to find someone who likes you for who you are. Number three, spread a wide net. Join as many dating sites as you feel comfortable with and try other types of dating too, maybe even speed dating. You might not find a date, but I can guarantee that by the end of the evening you'll have several hilarious anecdotes to warrant a dinner invitation from your married friends. You can find out more about different types of dating in my new book, which I'll cover shortly. Number four, create a memorable dating profile. Think of this as your personal PR. Include recent photos. Maybe don't mention your love of cats or knitting or jam making at this stage. Use humour, be self-deprecating, but try not to mention your weak bladder or your hot flushes. Woo! Number five, weed out the unsuitables. Okay, he looks cute in his photos and he says he's into cougars, but have you really got anything in common with the 25-year-old musician? He might be fine for a casual fling, but do you really see it going anywhere? So why not move on and stop wasting your time? Pay close attention to what someone says in their dating profile and try reading between the lines. If they have no profile, or if their profile mentions friends first or casual fun, it usually means that they're not looking for a serious relationship and are probably only after one thing. Number six, give someone a chance. Okay, so maybe in his profile his photos aren't that great, but if you like what he said about himself and he shares some things in common, then why not give him a chance? Maybe he's just not that photogenic. You might be pleasantly surprised. Remember that once upon a time a princess kissed a frog who turned into a prince. Number seven, don't waste your time or money. Look, we're already in our 50s. We don't need to waste time on people who do not fit even our basic criteria. Has this person annoyed or irritated you already before you've even met? If the person you've made plans to go on a date with has already made you feel uncomfortable by text or on the phone, then don't waste your time going on a date with them. Or if he's already mentioned that he likes to get to know his dates by having sex with them first, like one of mine did, then tell him politely that you'll pass. Number nine, persevere. At times, it may feel like an uphill battle wading through unsuitable profiles, deleting dick pics, or not as the case may be, 
and never getting replies to messages. But hang on in there if this is really what you want. If you're really fed up with it, then take a break from dating for a while and come back to it once you're sufficiently recovered. Or you can try a different way of meeting people. Get out into the real world or try another type of dating. And lastly, number 10, stay positive. Treat every disappointment as a learning experience or you can turn your negatives into positives by using your bad dates to create your own dating blog to amuse your friends. Speaking of bad dates, please do share yours with me and I'll highlight the best ones in my new videos. The best story each month will win a copy of my new ebook, which is called Plenty of Frogs, The Realist's Guide to Dating. Just email Sharon at hobbyistsguidetodating.com. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you'd like to get a free copy of my ebook, Top 10 Tips for Successful Dating, and register for my email list, then please click the link below in the description. Thanks for watching and stay safe while dating.